Hi Phil, we have an LG inverter split mini with a plasma button. A new problem has cropped up. We turn it on, it cools fine, then after 5 minutes or so it turns off and the plasma light flashes 5 times. I cannot find any error codes for the plasma light. We did pull the plasma filters and vacuum them and replace. No change. Do you know the model of your LG vacuum? How old is it? It's an LG Split Mini AC. How long has this been going on with your LG vacuum? What have you tried so far? Wait, is this a real person or a robot? Yes, I'm a bot. I make the process of talking to the repairman more efficient and affordable by asking basic questions. Anything else we should know to help you best? It's not a vacuum. Hello, if the system is over a year old replace the plasma filter. Or you can ignore it without an real significant issue. Its air filtering capability will decline slightly. When you have all that you need, locate the finish and rate your expert link near the top of your page and click on it to close the question. And enable follow up at no additional charge. I appreciate your business. Post back for any follow up you might need on the same dime, so to speak. We looked into that. Having a hard time finding one for sale. What concerns me is that the AC turns off and won't work unless we reset the breaker dot and then the same thing happens, it works for 5 minutes and then shuts off. Thanks, with these automated error codes is that they are not reliable. They can issue the wrong code if for instance the printed circuit board is bad. You need a clamp around type amp meter to measure the amperage on each of the three wires attached to the compressor when it's running. $25 at Harbor Freight and $49 at most bib box type hardware stores. Ideally, we need to know the head and suction pressures taken at the service valves on the unit that sits outside as well. Let me know if that is within your capability range or not. We can go from there. Hubby is an electrical engineer and has all that equipment, including the pressure valves things. He washed the plasma filters and is waiting to dry them. Do you think this is maybe an electrical issue? We're used to the other lights blinking a code, not the plasma light blinking. Thank you. Also, the electric company just upgraded our meter. I wonder if that had anything to do with it. The meter upgrade should not have affected the AC. I need the head and suction pressure with the outside unit running for several minutes, and the amperage draw on each leg of the compressor wires. That will tell me all I need to know to diagnose the system. Very cool. We will have to do that in the morning. Hope you and your family are safe right now. I will be in all day tomorrow. Keep me posted on the progress. Thank you, Phil. Will do. Hi, I'm her husband. The model, LMN097HVT the units were turned on, on 6-2018 so they haven't been running for more than one year now. What becomes defective in the filter so that I can no longer use it? Can I disable my unit so it works without the plasma filter? Seems like a bad design to stop running when this filter isn't functional. I can go ahead and order a couple of plasma filters but they are expensive, PN hash. 
Do you know where I can get a good deal on them? I will check the AC pressure on the low side but it may be a challenge to do since the units start flashing plasma 5 times after 1 minute. Why are you concerned with the current? It turns on fine. I meant to say more than 2 years. The compressor never turns on, no current on L1, L2 when we turn the air handlers on. Air handlers run for 15 seconds blowing air then the plasma LED begins to blink 5 times. Based on rereading your comments looks like I shouldn't order a plasma filter because it's not going to fix our problem. I'm not sure what else to look for. I see 123 volts on L1 and L2 on the compressor. The 225 pounds per square inch measurement is on the suction or low side since it doesn't have a high side valve that I can connect to on the compressor. That is when the compressor isn't turning on of course. It would certainly go down if it turned on. I opened up the compressor unit and found the circuit board was shorted out due to a lizard. I will replace the circuit board and hopefully that fixes it. Thank you for pointing me toward the compressor and away from the plasma error. The lizard looks like it shorted out some communication pins which likely caused the false error reading. Good work. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.